Anomaly in the system. Welcome to Anomaly in the system. In this video, we're going to see how to fight Romelia, a matchup in Isotun Circle that seems to give most people troubles. Understandably so, I will add. It will be divided in three parts. In the first one, I'll talk about the leap mechanic, also known as Romelia's ground dash. After that, in the second part, we will go through everything else remaining, like neutral, pressure, general tools, and whatnot. And then, in the third part, the video will close by taking all of this information and reviewing it in a short, simple, and understandable way that can be applied in a real game. Everything should be clear enough now, so I believe we can start. Emilia is the embodiment of a certain character archetype, that being the Pixie. Those characters are usually small, really fast, rushdown oriented and have access to really strong pressure and mix up tools with the drawback of having less range, health or maybe even weaker defensive tools. Something that doesn't really happen with Romelia. Obviously Romelia isn't perfect and like any other character she does have weaknesses, so even if fighting her may feel unfair there is still a balance we can reach. But to understand how this unfairness happens and how to reach this balance we have to study how Romelia approaches neutral through her basic ground dash the so-called leap, and how she ends controlling space with just implied threats. The leap gives Romelia access to a fairly unique range, range that few characters can actually contest safely with their own normals, but the vast majority of the cast is forced to commit if they want to start pressure or just reach Romelia in general, thus ending into a disadvantageous position. The leap itself and the different grounded tools Romelia has access to control a very specific bubble or dome in neutral, space that you don't want to be in, but at best being close enough to be just outside of it, ready to move in when possible or setting up your counter. This space is the implied threat range. You don't want to be in there, even when nothing is actually happening, but it could happen, and it's implied threat. While all of this is quite good, there will be some problems understanding the famous unfairness from before, so let's compare Romelia range and options with an average character. Let's take a simple situation like Yomu vs Mei Ling. Let's put Yomu at the optimal range and let's see what happens. Hmm, the amount of options both characters have access to is the same, but only Yomu has access to a low commitment, higher reward, common normal such as Xe. Mei Ling has access only to high commitment, low reward dash attacks giving Yomu the general upper hand. While Yomu has ideally the advantage, the difference between the two isn't too big, making the balance only slightly fall onto Yomu. But when you compare a similar optimal range situation with Remedia, things change a fair bit. Once again, we can see that her range is quite something else compared with anything from before, and her options from this range seems to be on the low commitment higher reward hand, like being able to J5A or J2A into you out of the blue for pressure, combos, or even just sliding with 3A for again pressure or combos. All the while we can really even reach her without getting close to the range of such attacks and putting ourselves into dangerous harms. This situation feels unfair, with Remelia skewing the risk reward, risk reward that usually feels more balanced with the other 19 characters of Ito Tensuku. But here is a question for you. Is it truly unfair? Is it truly unbalanced? And lastly, is it truly broken? I'll answer that for you. The answer is no. Emilia feels like a really strong character without a doubt, especially if compared to your average Zoku character. But all of her actions aren't free. She's still committing like anyone else. Problem is, 
How do we take advantage of that? Where is the weak point similar to other characters? Well, funny enough, her weakness is still in the leap. Still in the ground dash that many characters use to move forward. It's just that the way you punish it is different from the rest. How you ask? Let me get my graph. There we go. So as you can see, we got a jumpy Romina trying to go on this optimally spaced Yomo. What's important to notice here is that Yomo already put a bullet in Romina's way, specifically 6B. Now, what is the status of Romina and most importantly, what are her options? Here's the status. We can see she is leaping from point A to B, grazing everything along the path. That's good. Now, what are her options in this scenario? Hmm, how about... The good old melee attacks. Maybe a J5A or a J2A. Hmm, that won't work actually. The moment Romelia throws any type of move, she will immediately turn off the Grace effect and she will be hit by the projectiles. That is quite bad for her. Maybe Grace and then she can block. Will that be the correct thing to do for her? Definitely yes. In this situation, Yomo has the advantage after having thrown out the bullets. So if Romelia tries to attack, she will get hit, making blocking the right choice for her, even if it's not going to give her any form of advantage. What if she grazed and then backdashed away? Actually, another usable option. If she wants to go back to neutral after graze, she can backdash away to try and reset neutral instead of having to deal with your block strength. How about if she tried to just reposition herself from a projectile cancel instead of having to deal with your defense? Yes, that will also be a possible solution. But what does all of this tell us about the leap? Let's take all together once more and see what is the end result. Now that we have all the information necessary about the leap mechanic, we can restart from the top and see everything put together and then we can make up a proper game plan to go along with all this information and end this part of the video. So, Romelia has a unique range compared to any other character in the game thanks to her long-reaching slide and the leap mechanic itself. This forces us to sit at an optimal range where we can be hit by any of her moves, but we also can do much in terms of attacking her safely, and because of that, this makes neutral a lot harder and also completely different from what we are accustomed to normally. Initially, it doesn't seem to be possible to have a balanced fight with such conditions, but after considering all our tools, we simply exchange many attacks for bullets. This completely changed the perspective of the fight and made it harder for Emilia to play around the game. By playing a slow game with the defensive bullets, we can slowly get in over Emilia safely. Or Emilia can instead commit to graze attacks, or just commit in general, and open herself up for damage. Which is what we truly want in the end. The overall game plan will be to simply force her to commit to graze attacks, or crazy maneuvers, just to break through her bullet defense. You see, Romelia's weakness, in short, is having to move around projectiles, or in general projectiles used defensively to stop the leak from happening. There is a reason for it. Let's close this part by explaining this. Romelia's leap mechanic is powerful, great, and everything nice. But it doesn't work like a normal dash where you can stop kind of whenever and then reset your position, high jump away, or anything like that. Instead, she is forced to move from point A to point B completely, or change her movement by doing something. And I want to really stress this something. This means that she can graze out of the leap. She either commits to the graze or she stops it. And if projectiles are in the way, she can do anything but graze through and then do something else, unless she wants to get hit. That is the major weak point of Vermilia. The leap itself, as strong as it is, is an heavy committal action that can be heavily countered by using the right projectiles. That's the secret to Vermilia's most powerful mechanic. Well, that was a long set of explanations just to tell you, hey my man, throw some B's and C's in Romelia's way and she is going to have a real bad day. Uh, well, enough of this. Let's move on to the next part. We're going to explore the everything else remaining of Romelia. Normal buttons, skills, pressure, general neutral. You know, the actual character. <laughs>